Okay, uh, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide, and we're back again with Steve the Alien. Um, this is the Lower Third Project. Today we're going to go over how to export uh, movies from Final Cut. Um, we're just using the Lower Third as a, a means to do that. Um, so typically, um, typically with Final Cut projects, if you're exporting from this, the timeline here, uh, you don't need uh, to put in and out points. Um, if you have, like, for instance, if you were to have something like this where you didn't want that, it was junk material, but you didn't want to delete it, you wanted it for another project later or something like that, um, that's fine. Um, but you would need to put an out point here just so that everything before there would be taken um, and everything after it would be disregarded. Um, so what you can actually do, and if you have something in the front like that too, like you're just pulling out a middle section, um, so something like something like that. Then what you need is yeah, an endpoint here. Um, for endpoints, it's just I key, just I, and then O for out. Pretty simple, you know. Not a big, not a big long. Uh, key combination there. Okay, um, so then you just go to, well, it depends on how you want to do it. Um, you can export it as a QuickTime movie or a QuickTime conversion, um, or you can send it to Compressor if you have the whole um, Final Cut suite. If you have the whole Final Cut suite, then you can, you know, throw it through Compressor if you want. Um, that's generally what I use is Compressor. Um, it's nice, it has a lot of options and whatnot, um, but that's kind of another monster in and of itself. I'll just do a QuickTime movie for you pretty quick here. So, QuickTime movie, and we're going to name this, what are we going to call it, Steve the Alien Lower Third Project? Might as well, right? Everything else is. Okay, goes there. Um, we're just going to use current settings, um, you know, audio and video, that's kind of important, you know, if you want to have audio and video, otherwise it could be just one or the other. Um, your current settings, I'd stick to those. Um, you start messing with different codecs and stuff like that, and then things tend to not be as compliant with, you know, DVD players and everything else. Um, and, yeah, we can get with markers later, but we're not going to be putting this on a DVD and it doesn't have chapter markers, so we don't have to worry about that. So, we'll just throw it in here. Um, usually, for the final video for something, when I'm you know in my project folder, I like to make a new file and call it final. And that way it just keeps it, the final project separate from all the other project files. So, we'll save that. And it'll start... Maybe it already did it. Oh, because I probably didn't do it self-contained. That could be why. Yep, here it is. And there's our movie. And I am here to tell you all about me. For now, anyways. Later, maybe I'll get into some other topics, issues. Um, who knows? Right. Maybe. Um, another thing is, though, if... Let's see, let's go to export again. Oops, sorry. Gotta click. You have to click on the timeline here. Because if you click on if you click on like something random up here and then go to export, um, it'll be exporting that clip right there. That's that's an important little thing that a lot of people miss. Um, is that you have to be clicked on the timeline. Um, a lot of people have been working on the timeline just before they go there, so they don't they don't even think of it. But you know, if by chance you happen to click one of the things up here and then go to export. You're only going to be exporting this file here, and not your project. So, that's that's kind of a key thing. You got to make sure that you you do. All right. So, go to QuickTime Movie. Now, this is make self-contained. So, actually, the last time we did, we made a self-contained, uh, which takes all the video files and actually puts it into um, the QuickTime Movie. Um, if you uncheck that, then it's just going off of pointer-based system. Okay, it's just pointing back to your project. So if you take that video file and say put it on a flash drive, or if you put that on a DVD, it won't be read um, by another computer. It won't. It won't even recognize, you know, that it's 
that it's an actual video file. I mean, it'll, it'll show it as a QuickTime movie, but there'll be nothing there. It'll be empty. So make sure that you have that checked if you're planning on using it um, for anything else. Okay, so that, uh, that's our file, and it seems to work pretty good. So there we go. So that's how you export using Final Cut Pro. Um, and then later maybe we'll get into um, some compressor and see different settings and different things you can do uh, with that. All right, uh, thank you. This has been your 5-Minute Guide with Kyle.